Welcome to Cambridge International AS Level Chemistry. In this video, I want to discuss about redox reactions. The main component oxidation number calculations, redox processes, balancing redox reactions. Now we are going to detail oxidation number calculation, the first portion of this chapter. Oxidation number of any element in a compound or the ions we can calculate in the redox processes. For this, we have four role the f act num number one role number one formula is at free condition oxidation state equal to zero at free condition means an isolated condition potassium atom sodium atom calcium atom aluminium atom any atom or some molecules diatomic molecules like uh, o2 cl2 they have zero oxidation state or oxidation number because they have no charge number of proton and electron equal then next one the second one oxidation state of any ion is equal to charge of the ion like potassium ion has charge plus one so oxidation number plus one oxide ion has minus two so oxidation number minus two oxidation number of any compound equal to the valency again i'm mentioning at isolated condition zero but when a element is in the compound like iron is isolated zero but iron is in a in oxygen like iron oxide in this case oxidation state of iron equal to valency of iron that is plus three oxygen has oxidation number minus two so well because of valency minus two now oxidation number of any compound equal to zero we can call it here aluminium uh, sorry iron three oxide iron three oxide iron has plus three how many two so three plus three multiplied by two plus six and oxygen minus two multiplied by three atoms so here plus six minus six cancel out so zero oxidation number of in a compound overall compound no charge so zero using these four formula we can find out oxidation number of any element and any complex ion balances of the element should know some of the valency have to know for this to kind of find out the oxidation number of any element some of the valency have to know here this is given you can use this ch chart you can take help from the periodic table as well the elements who is generally uh, don't change the oxidation number by a single valency uh, you have to know this one from the periodic table then we are using one example potassium dichromate potassium has plus one oxygen oxygen a and i'm seeing minus two in the chart if you look here potassium is plus one oxygen minus two but chromium we don't know so we are considering chromium is x so plus one potassium multiplied by two plus chromium is x multiplied by two and oxygen minus two multiplied by seven so total zero total zero the formula last number formula to overall no charge of potassium dichromate so this is a neutral uh, compound so overall zero so we're getting here two plus 2x minus 14 is equal to 0 2x minus 12 is equal to 0 so from here x is equal to plus 6 this way we can find out oxidation number of any element oxidation state of the underlying element here chromium or uh, chromium 3 chloride here we have to find out chromium is x plus minus 1 chlorine multiplied by 3 equal to 0 equal to 0 because of this is overall new charge neutral chromium is x x plus minus 3 is equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 3 similarly kno3 you can calculate in your copy you can uh, you can um, compare with me potassium nitrate potassium nitrate here nitrogen is variable unknown potassium is plus one oxygen minus two here potassium is plus five kmno4 potassium manganate potassium manganese here manganese is here plus seven you can compare with me and the potassium chlorate chlorine is here plus five and sodium thiosulfate sulfur is here plus two and another one the last one chromium complex this is called complex compound here water is a neutral molecule water is zero chromium is x plus zero multiplied by six equal to not zero this is equal to three again i'm taking again i'm telling chromium is x plus zero multiplied by six equal to three so from here we can find out chromium is equal to plus three now i'm going to redox processes using the concept of oxidation number we can find out the redox reactions that is oxidation and reductions in terms of electron transfer we can find out this is the equation redox reaction here copper 2 plus ion oxidation number plus 2 and copper 2 plus oxidation number plus 2 and here copper is 0 magnesium is 0 and magnesium right side mg2 plus ion is plus 2 so from here we can compare uh, copper ion to copper 
oxidation number decreases this is reduction electrons is gaining two electrons are gained magnesium is zero and right side plus two so two electrons are lost because oxidation again i am discussing copper is here two plus in the left side and right side is zero so oxidation number decreases that is electron gaining electrons are negative electron gain means oxidation number decrease just opposite and the second equation magnesium to magnesium two plus oxidation number increases means electron lost so this way we can find out oxidation deduction reaction in a, in any in any redox reactions okay similar way find find out the oxidation and reduction reaction in the following reactions uh, i'm giving you the tips here carbon left side is plus two right side is plus four so this is oxidation and nitrogen left side plus two right side is zero this is reduction so you can just compare with pps1 if you feel in confusion you go just you go to back and then similar way chlorine plus water hcl plus hcl it is something different the same chlorine is here the same chlorine is here oxidized and reduced but hydrogen oxygen no change then another one chlorine sodium hydroxide nacl plus nacelo this the last two reactions are disproportionate reaction the same chlorine is oxidized and reduced no change of sodium no change of oxygen no change of hydrogen as well now we are going to balancing equation in the previous two concept balancing equation we have to know a theory that one the number of electron transfer must be equal number of electron lost in the oxidation must be equal to the number of electron gain in the reduction this is the formula but before using this formula you have to find out the oxidation number first then reduction oxidation two processes and then the last one number of electron transfer you have to use this concept now i'm giving you example one example here this is reduction and this is oxidation but electron transfer the first one first one in reduction two electron no one electron is uh, uh, gained the second equation two electrons are lost so first one is reduction second one is oxidation but electron lost in not equal so we have to make it equal what can you do what can you do the first one two electrons one electron first one you have to make it two so what can you do we can make it multiplied by two and the second one we can multiply it by one so electron transfer is equal electron transferring equal now we have to simply addition left to left and right to right we are getting this is the equation that is eliminating two election two electrons we are getting the final equation this is the overall balanced redox reaction another example I want to give you uh, two equations given the first equation is uh, reduction and the second equation is oxidation but here electrons gain five electron loss two so you have to make it equal this LCM two and five is ten you know the simple math so the first one you have to make it 10 the second one you have to make it 10 so what can you do you can multiply the first one by 2 and second one by 5 then simple addition this is the equation here we are getting 10 electrons 10 electrons cancel out cancel out then another 16 a plus in the left side and the right side proton 10 so to uh, deducting these two you're getting the overall equation this is the balanced redox reaction again i'm talking you have to just eliminate number of electron this is the simultaneous equation in general maths is how to do it another example you have to do it is beer sulfuric acid plus bromine sulfur dioxide plus water in this reaction you have to know some tips number one oxidation number first you have to find out then you have to find out oxidation and reduction in transferring considering transferring electron then you have to make it number of electron transferred and then you have to add these two equations that is the, this is the overall equation given you have to make it two equations oxidation and reduction then you have to balance this is the way then this is the end so we are go going the last portion the last portion oxidation number calculations redox processes balancing redox reaction for any problem of this chapter you can communicate to us in catalyst education catalyst education has face to face and online platform thank you very much for watching this video